Poland's defence minister says the country's border with Belarus is in danger. He says Minsk, backed by Moscow, is encouraging illegal crossings to destabilise Poland. Russia's Wagner Group set up base in Belarus last month near the Polish border. Warsaw responded by deploying troops with plans to send up to 10,000 to the area. Well, Osama bin Javed joins us now from Bobrovniki in Poland. And Osama, how is the Polish government explaining why it needs such a large number of troops uh, along the border? Well, you've heard from the Polish Defence Minister today for the first time actually coming out to meet his troops, some of them who are going to be uh, positioned along the Belarus-Poland border, uh, saying that it is not just the threat of migration that he faces, but also we've been hearing from politicians saying that these migrants could be guised, uh, these could be Wagner mercenaries guised as migrants that would cross into Poland vis-a-vis -vis cross into NATO and cause disruptions. Obviously, that is a claim which has not found any evidence on the ground yet. Uh, rights workers and people who are working on the border say that this is another uh, claim by a, this right-wing government which has been uh, going against migrations. It is one of their rallying cries and it is because this is just a few weeks away from elections, they want to rally their voter base as well. So it is interesting to see the defence minister coming out, uh, along with his generals, uh, making uh, statements such as there is going to be, uh, if there is any provocation that happens on the border, if there are any incursions that happen on the border, there's going to be an immediate response, saying it is not going to take weeks or days, but it will be immediate response to any provocation. So again, uh, this is happening in the backdrop of uh, not just a rising number number of people who've attempted to cross the border, but also uh, at least two aircraft from the Belarusian side who've crossed into Polish territory, according to Polish officials, denied by Belarus as well. But again, a direct consequence of the ongoing war in Ukraine, where you find Poland positioning itself as the defender of NATO's border against Russia and its allies. And Osama, what will the soldiers actually be doing at the border? Because as we understand it, there is already a fence with barbed wires, motion sensors and and cameras. Well, we witnessed it firsthand. We were there on the border fence uh, a couple of times in various locations and where uh, you can see the barbed wire, five meter high fence, 187 kilometers long. But there are still patches between these two countries where the fence is not there. There are rivers, there, there is terrain where the fence cannot be erected. And even the fence in itself has not been able to stem the flow of people crossing into Europe. Uh, so these soldiers essentially are going to be doing patrols, both uh, via uh, drones as well as uh, manned uh, boots on the ground, patrols on land, uh, as well as carrying out activities on the border to make sure that they catch those people who enter Poland illegally and then hand them over to the border guards. So their ambit has been described as, some, as a force which is allowed to use force if it needs to, but more and large, they're going to be supplementing the duties of the border guard there. We've been speaking to these soldiers. Some of them said that they've been uh, there for 700 days manning these borders uh, as, as as uh, long as there has been a crisis in Ukraine. And they say that they've, they've faced uh, people who've had military training before. They've faced people uh, who were trying to illegally enter Poland. But they are not allowed to detain them. They're not allowed to interrogate them. Uh, they're supposed to hand them over to the border guard, which then uh, most of the time uh, pushes them back into the territory where they came from. And rights activists have been telling us that it is an indiscriminate pushing back where uh, minors, including children and people who need medical attention, have also been turned back, something which, according to activists on the ground, is against the conventions that European Union and its members have signed on. OK, thank you so much, Osama. That is Osama bin Javid in Bobrovniki in Poland.